What is going on? Joe here and today I'm doing a different type of video for you guys. Now as you see here, I actually have some low battery on my mouse. Um, I'm actually doing a what's on my iMac or what's on my dock or what's in my dock for my Mac. Now as you all maybe know or don't know, I use an iMac. I use a 27 inch iMac and I've been getting a lot of requests of uh, doing a video on what apps do I use on, on Mac. So I've decided to finally do that video for you guys, get a little change from all product reviews or jailbreak tweaks and everything. So today I'll be doing a what's in my dock on my Mac. So first off, I'm just going to actually kind of briefly run through the apps. I don't want to spend too much time on these. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, everything on here on my Mac. Uh, Finder, this is the way you find your uh, folders and documents and all that stuff right here so it's gonna be your little file manager on your Mac of course and launchpad right here launchpad is just uh, all your apps right here now this is just a stock uh, thing that comes with Mac OS 10 and you have launchpad there so you, so you can even create folders that you see right here have iLife and then Microsoft Office and all that so um, yeah so that's launchpad we got the app store so this is where you download all your apps for your Mac and this is where you download the games and all that good stuff on here. Uh, I use this sometimes because some of the apps that I will be covering here in the second are in the actual Mac App Store. So next we got Mail. Of course, that's going to be your emails and all that. Safari, which is going to be your internet browser. Calendar, of course, your calendar. And Tweetbot. Now, Tweetbot is a Twitter client that I use and prefer it over the regular uh, Twitter client that's on iOS and iPad and all that so this is what I've been using on my iPhone my iPad and also on my Mac because I just like the interface and the features that it has and it's just I don't know it just seems a lot better than just the regular Twitter client but um, yeah so for example there's a cool little feature where uh, it actually syncs over like your position on the timeline so for example I'm on this part right here and if I go to my iPhone, then it'll actually sync to that certain part of the timeline where you left off on your Mac. And that way you can continue reading all the uh, current uh, tweets on your timeline that you haven't even read or something. So I think that is a pretty cool feature on TweetBot. That's one reason I like it and just the interface itself. I like it. I prefer it better than the regular Twitter client. So this is Tweetball. You can actually find this in um, the Mac App Store. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter at JBTech17 right here so you can know all the future updates on my videos and all that good stuff. Now next we have Clear right here. Now Clear is just a simple, it's a really simple app that just gives you a list, kind of like reminders. Um, so right here I have grocery list here. So I click on grocery list and you just have just different little lists of things. And you can simply right click on it and then you can check that. So here I have grocery list so I can have this on my Mac and it also works on iOS. They have the iOS application as well. So and it syncs across uh, devices. So if you check these right here, then it will also be checked on your iOS application as well. So this is called clear. Uh, this is something I use to like even help me with my YouTube videos, like see what I'm going to be doing up next. So this is a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be producing here in a few days. So this call again, clear, you can check it out in the Mac app store and I'll leave a link down below in the description. So it's a real cool little application there. Next we have pocket. Now pocket I've used every now and then for things that I am interested in in articles on websites or even on Twitter. Someone tweets something and I'm like, Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is something that, yeah, it saves your links so you can uh, sync it with Tweetbot. It works with Tweetbot and many other applications and you can send it over to pocket. And basically you have all these, uh, sort of like bookmarks, I would say, and you can read them and all that and this is also this also is available on your iOS device you can download the application and it is free so it's called pocket and it's just a simple way to view different um, articles or different links and just save that for later and things like that so I use this quite often now next we have Evernote so Evernote is just a note-taking application and it also syncs over to your iOS device 
And this is what I sometimes use uh, whenever I do my voiceovers, kind of do like a little outline on here. And it, and then I have it on my iPhone or iPad and I read off of it sometimes uh, when I need it. So yeah, check that out. It is free as well. It's called Evernote. It's a really, really useful note-taking application. We got iMessage here now as well, or Messages for Mac. Uh, of course, that's just your text messages. I use that a lot because I use my iPhone a lot and um, it syncs right over as well. So I'm not going to be showing that because that's personal text messages and stuff. So uh, next we have Photoshop CS6. So I use Photoshop for a lot of my thumbnails or every thumbnail I'll basically do on YouTube. Uh, here is a ending little slate or whatever of my vlog channel. Also, I do have a vlog channel if you're interested in that. Uh, where I is basically behind the scenes of what I do besides tech, uh, hang out with my girlfriend, uh, make jokes and do stupid stuff with my little sister. Um, people, I don't know, they think we're funny or something. I don't know. Go ahead and check that out. YouTube.com slash JB Vlogs with a Z. But uh, yeah, this is what I use uh, for uh, intros. Like here's what I use. Uh, on iOS 7 beta 3 video here this is what uh, just pops up as a title and all this stuff so check it out see uh, I never close these out for some reason I just keep them open but yeah go ahead and check it out um, Photoshop I'm pretty sure you're familiar yeah you should be familiar with Photoshop so I use Photoshop CS6 for a lot of uh, thumbnails and things like that and also for my vlog channel and stuff so go ahead and check out the vlog channel leave the link down below go ahead and subscribe for uh, behind the scenes of what I do besides tech just a little daily uh, stuff whatever I do and then next we have uh, Photoshop Lightroom 4 so this is another Adobe uh, program and this is what I use to just edit photos and things like that I I wouldn't call myself a photographer I'm not great at photography but I do have interest in taking photos I use the camera I use for my tech channel um, I actually use that whenever I'm out and about and want to take photos so here's uh, this is what I used to edit so here's a pretty cool picture that I really liked and I posted up um, this is fireworks on July the 3rd or July the 4th I went to go watch fireworks and yeah I decided to take some photos and some of them came out decent so not that one that kind of sucked but uh, but yeah this is what I used to photo edit uh, my photos or edit my photos and give it a little more uh, contrast and all that stuff and things like that so this is Lightroom 4 you can also purchase that in the Mac App Store now next we have Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 which is a video editor and I haven't really been uh, using it I just got it probably like a week ago and I wanted to check it out and see how it is because what I actually use to video edit and all that is Final Cut Pro but yeah Premiere Pro CS6 I really haven't got uh, the hang of it yet I need to get better at it because I do hear it is quite impressive especially if you use like Photoshop and all the Adobe suite um, programs and everything so uh, let's go ahead and talk about Final Cut here so Final Cut Pro I have Final Cut Pro 10 so here is um, this is what I use to edit all my vlogs and all that stuff so this is a little uh, peek at what I do in the vlogs here. So I kind of just hang out and hang out with my girlfriend or hang out with my sister and go to the Apple store and things like that here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, go ahead and check out the vlog channel again. Um, but anyways, this is what I use to edit all my videos, my tech videos and everything like that. So this is all my stuff here, um, music and all that stuff, outro music and everything. <laughs> So I really love Final Cut Pro 10. It's a great program. I stepped up from iMovie when I first started YouTube and then now I'm using Final Cut Pro. I've been using it for over a year now and it's a great program uh, to edit your videos and check it out. Uh, you can find that in the Mac App Store as well. Uh, it is pretty pricey because it is a great uh, software. So, And ScreenFlow here. Let's go ahead and talk about ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is what I'm using right now currently. Uh, it's what I use to record my screen. So this is a little test video I did just before I started shooting this. And yeah, so this is what you could use to edit your uh, screen 
uh, whatever you record from your screen or even use this as a little video editor as well. So it works both ways. Uh, if you just want to record your screen and talk and things like that, do voiceovers, you can use this as well. But this is what I'm using uh, right now to record my screen. I'm not sure about the price. I think it's $50, but I could be wrong. Uh, you can find it in the links down below. Actually, you know what? I think it's $100. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the link down below if you want to pick that up. You can pick it up from the Mac App Store as well. And uh, next, we have Game Capture Card. So Game Capture Card is what I use to uh, record. I used to do a lot of... Um, I used to do weekly uh, gaming videos, but I think I may move that to a separate channel because I just didn't want to interfere with my tech stuff, but I did Q&As uh, while I play Black Ops 2. You can find that in this channel here right now because I recorded probably like uh, six videos and put them up on this channel. And I mean, you guys seem to like it, but I may be doing that again because I did stop because questions kind of got repetitive and I don't know, I just kept talking about the same stuff over and over, so it, it felt like. But, um, but yeah, Game, Game Capture HD is what I use to capture uh, video from my TV, uh, from my Xbox and stuff. I use the Elgato uh, game capture card. So this is a program that you use to record stuff from your TV. <laughs> but uh, next we have Spotify. Spotify is pretty amazing. Spotify is just a music application uh, for your music, of course. You pay a monthly fee. I believe it's $9.99 for that monthly fee and you get unlimited amount of music. So you can simply search a song. So right now, Jay-Z is one of the latest uh, artists that has a new album right now, the Magna Carta. Uh, let's see, well, you see here, I can simply just select one of these songs and start playing it. Uh, so instantly. So this also works for iOS as well. Uh, they do have an application for iOS and that's one reason I use uh, Spotify. I really love the application on iOS and also on the Mac. So whenever I'm just chilling, working on a video, then I just turn on Spotify and play some tunes. You can even make playlists and things like that. So it's a great application. Uh, you do just pay $9.99 a month. So $10 basically uh, per month and you get an unlimited amount of songs. You can simply search a song or an artist and they're usually up to date with their stuff. So if there's a new album coming out next week, typically they do have it on launch date. So check out Spotify. It is um, free to download, but uh, you just pay that monthly fee of $9.99. So it's a pretty cool application. Definitely check it out. And then now next, next to that, we have iTunes, of course, just for your music. And uh, Parallels Desktop. This is something else I use if I ever need to use Windows, which is... Sad to say, sometimes I do need it for some odd reason. Uh, but I do have Windows 7 installed on here. I don't even care for Windows 8 um, on Parallels. So it's a virtual machine. So you can actually be using, uh, say, Windows or even Linux or even the latest Mac operating system like uh, Mavericks. So you can uh, separately open that up in a separate window while you're still on your Mac back here. So it's a pretty nice application. Uh, I can just simply hit start here and then it'll start up uh, Windows. So next we have Clean My Mac 2. So Clean My Mac 2 is um, the second version of the original Clean My Mac, of course. And this is a very useful application. So what this does, it basically cleans up your Mac, even your trash. It dumps out old uh, junk files and things. And so for instance, I can go ahead and scan and it'll scan my whole computer and then it will give me some recommendation of what I should uh, delete and things like that. So um, right now, as you see here, it's cleaned 1.968 terabytes of uh, storage or junk from my computer. So I've been using this for probably over a year now and it's been a great application. I definitely recommend Clean My Mac if you want to keep your things clean. Uh, your files and everything and it also has uh, they've added a lot of features on the second versions this actually looks better than the original but uh, you have your uninstaller so if you want to uninstall a application this would be uh, the best way to do it instead of manually having to go in there and uninstall it because you can't just simply just uh, go to a certain uninstaller on your Mac because Mac doesn't have that you actually just simply delete the application 
but uh, sometimes you do leave those files behind, some uh, files that come with it, and they stay on your Mac and you never know. So uh, this will actually remove the file you downloaded along with the actual program or application you downloaded and any other file that uh, has anything to do with that certain application. So go ahead and check out Clean My Mac 2. It's pretty nice to have um, when you need to clean up some stuff on your computer. So next on my dock, we have 1Password. 1Password one uh, one allows you to uh, have your serial number, like your serial codes for your applications or things like that, or even your um, passwords to websites and everything. So this is a great tool, a great application for not only your uh, Mac, but also even for your iOS device. It actually uh, uses Dropbox and syncs over your stuff uh, from one device to another. So you have everything uh, wherever you go. So this is a very useful uh, application and it's very secure. Uh, you have your master password so you need to enter your master password in order to even get into one password uh, to get all your passwords for your uh, programs and everything. But this is a very useful application uh, whenever you can't remember all your passwords because you have different passwords for different websites and things. So this is something you could use that could be useful for you and it's called a 1Password. You can pick it up in the Mac App Store and also on your iOS device. Now next we have uh, Window Tidy. So Window Tidy is really, really nice. I love this application due to the fact because I don't know if you guys are familiar with Windows, but with Windows you're able to uh, simply drag a window to the left part of the screen or the right part of the screen and it will evenly divide it in between the screen so right here this is what window tidy is so if I simply drag this to the middle or to this section here it's gonna center it in the middle if I go to full screen right here you go to full screen as it takes the whole screen and here we have left part of the screen there and then we also have the right part of the screen there so it evenly divides it into sections and you can even customize uh, the different positions on here so you can name it a new layout have a different layout and then kind of resize it as you see here and maybe you want to save that and now I have that little thing here so you can resize it like that so this is a very useful application if you do a lot of work uh, maybe you do a lot of research and while you're doing a uh, paper for school or something like that uh, you can use this to manage your windows and you can actually find this in the Mac App Store. I believe it's currently $5.99. I could be mistaken, but I'll leave a link down below in the description and you can purchase it at the Mac App Store. But uh, other than that, guys, those are the applications I use that are currently on my uh, Mac in my dock. So if you'd like me to uh, maybe do a future video on, on Mac apps, let me know by giving this video a like. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. But uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not following me yet on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or Instagram, all the links will be down below. Go ahead and follow me on all those for future updates. Also, if you're new to the channel and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos, including videos like this current one you just watched. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And... I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Peace!